Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Black Adder. This is back and forth. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Now there are mixed reviews about this. I'm not sure how good or bad it's going to be. Either way, I try to go in pretty clean without any type of expectations either way. And I appreciate all the warnings I received about the spoilers from this one and the Christmas Carol one. I don't recall receiving this many spoilers from other shows. Like every so often somebody a message from like, hey, avoid the comment section on Only Fools. Somebody put a spoiler there or Taze reviewed it and she's deleted it or she requested a delete, you know? But I feel like I've gotten more spoiler warnings for Black Adder out of any series that I watched. I could be wrong. Only Fools and horses might be pretty close but yeah man i don't, I don't know why people want to spoil this show so much <laughs> so yeah man let's just go ahead and jump into this folks we'll talk about it more at the end well isn't this splendid and absolutely tough day new year's eve 1999 a new century and a new <clears throat> millennium let's drink a great big slurpy toast to peace and understanding around the globe Bravo. Yeah. after all if history teaches us anything it is that in the words of st bert what the world needs Both now is love, sweet love. Yeah, yeah. Total codswallop. Mm -hmm. If history has taught us anything, it is that the story of man is one long round of death and torture and burning people as witches just because they've got a wart. I'm sorry about the food, by the way. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my cook got invited to an orgy at Delia Smith's house. And so our chef for this evening is the man who cleans out the septic tank. Oh. Baldrick! <laughs> Of course. Oh, no. My lord. God save us. I trust you're all enjoying your food? <laughs> no, we're not actually, Baldrick. What is this we're eating? It tastes as if someone with a bad chest cold has taken two spoonfuls of benolin to loosen the phlegm and then coughed all over an avocado. <laughs> well, <clears throat> funny you should say that, sir, because... Yes, all right, Baldrick. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You may go now. So gross. I believe you've got some other duties to attend to. Oh, yes. Excuse me, please, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now, where were we? We were very well oh, toasting no. the future. Yes, and I suppose it might also be a perfect time to look to the past. How on earth can one look at the past? You can't see something that's already happened. Unless you're on the lavatory. Oh, good point, Bish. Yes, or... Or unless one's got a time machine. Uh, how likely is that? <laughs> well, very likely, actually, darling. Because I've just built one. Stop it! you got a time travel? Oh, my I've God. I've heard some rubbish in my time. Every time I open my mouth, as a matter of fact. But a time machine? <laughs> it's just cobblers. I can assure you, it is not. Behold, the time machine. <laughs> well, clean my machine. nipples and call me Rita. <laughs> it can't be real. Blackadder, it's a practical joke, surely. Certainly not. When was the last time I played a practical joke? Well, there was the time you said you were dying of kidney failure, and I donated one of my kidneys to save your life, and then you said it was an April Fool, and we had to throw my kidney away. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, that's bogus. Odd, hilarious practical joke, but not this time. An ancient, reeking, stinking pair of 200-year-old underpants. <laughs> 18th-century bossy huggers, that's the ticket. Oh. <laughs> Very well. I shall be on my way. This will, of course, take no time at all in your time. I shall merely step in. There will be a momentary shuddering, and I will emerge triumphant. Farewell, dear friends. <laughs> oh, oh, this time. is very impressive. I'm sorry that I didn't have time to build it myself. Don't worry, my lord. I'll follow Mr. Da Vinci's instructions to the letter. Even though you can't actually read. That's right, my lord. But I have done a lot of airfix models in my time. Right. So we've got the Centurion's helmet. Very good. And the boots. Excellent. Here you are, my lord. They're my very best pair. And coincidentally, also my very worst. So they are, in fact, oh. your only pair of underpants. That's right, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I'm just so gross, dude. Interesting. What's I was hoping he accidentally built the time machine for real. Well. <laughs> for God's sake, do something, Bolton. <laughs> something useful. Come on, get something. <laughs> <laughs> Try the underpants. Oh, check it out too. Let me grab the sword. Oh, him, not me. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I slit my skin. 
Oh no. <laughs> this is goofy as shit. <laughs> One of history's great mysteries solved. God bless them. Dinosaurs were in fact wiped out by your pants. Jesus oh, Christ. Is a turn up for the books. Can you set the date so we can get home? Yes, I'll just turn that there, pull that there, reset that there, pull this lever like that, and the date should come up. But unfortunately, it doesn't, because I was going to write the numbers on in felt tip pen, but I never got round to it. Jesus. Right. So the date we're heading for is two watermelons and a bunch of cherries. <laughs> in other words, we can't get Shit. home. Not as such. <laughs> Excellent. Well, let's say, let's say, let's say that there was a place where you could buy absolutely everything. <laughs> we already have those, Blackadder, and they're called markets. Oh, right, right. Well, imagine that, but times ten. As it were, a supermarket. Now, if you gave someone at one of these supermarkets this, he would give you some bonus points which would mean that once a month so what are you, talking you about, could dude? buy a tin of baked beans at half the normal price kill him oh they're just sort of sweets minty things i want one <laughs> Oh, Blackie, you are so naughty. <laughs> it's the so weird. thing in the history of the world. Try one, Melchie. <laughs> what a trick. <laughs> it's indeed, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> most pleasant. <laughs> this is incredible, because do you know, Smelchie, the way it usually smells so bad, it's like you've eaten a whole stoop for your breakfast. Well, I am aware I have a less than orthodox mouthful odour, ma'am, yes. Yes, yeah, well... You don't smell like that anymore. Oh. It doesn't mean she's gonna kill the Black Adder from that timeline since oh he never brings God, her mess. Where are we now? Oh dear. You think it's safe? I don't know. Does this look like a dangerous place to you, Baldrick? This empty wood? Here, my tough oh no! Fighters, who have good muscle tone and arm <laughs> I didn't know he was in this. Oh god! Ha! <laughs> we've captured Lord Blackadder. Hey! Wait a minute. Are you Robin Hood? <laughs> <laughs> Am I Robin Hood? <laughs> Is Will Scarlet a puff in tights? <laughs> Is Friar Turk a fat tub of lard with a ridiculous haircut? <laughs> Is Maid Marian a hot little honey with thighs like two halves of a nutcracker? Yes, I am. Woof! Woof. <laughs> because there's one question I've always wanted to ask you. Fire away! One final question before I impale you with my magnificent weapon. And I'm not talking about yes, my yes, enormous... Yes, yes, I know you're not. <laughs> what puzzles me is this. You just like flash rob art. from the rich. Yes! That's right, yeah. And then, when you rob the rich, you give it all to the poor. Yes! I love giving it to the poor! Woof! Woof! Now, that's the bit I don't understand. You men risk your lives in combat? Yes! You risk certain death if you're caught? Yes! You live here in this forest in total squalor? I mean, I'd hate to think what the toilet facilities are like around here. I'm surprised they don't call you Robin Hood and his bunch of complete lunatics. <laughs> right, that is it! Damn. Shoot him, boys! I'm great and he's not! Robin Hood and his band of merry morons. <laughs> aim! Aim! Bogus. Cold-blooded! <laughs> It's so bogus. Kill Robin Hood, dude. Can I say that I think you made the right decision? So do I, gorgeous. Ding dong. <laughs> do not despair. It is my firm belief that God hates the British. 
He will intervene miraculously and send us a glorious victory on this field of Waterloo. Oh, bravo! <laughs> the lovely uniform today, by the way. Oh, thank you. I think it works. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bogus. <laughs> Excellent. I have a superb plan which cannot fail but results in the complete destruction of the French army. Oh, splendid. Well, tell me at once, Your Grace, and I'll spread the news to the troops. The plan is yeah. to allow the French to come within a hundred yards of us, and then, and this is the completely original and brilliant part. Yes. Then. But. Your Grace! Dale. The Duke of Wellington is dead! Oops. Yes. Alas, without the plan, the day is lost. Pardon me. Thanks very much. Might as well try and win that cash anyway. <laughs> That's Why it. Try <laughs> He's bogus. Well, fingers crossed. And how does our inspired leader Hadrian intend to keep out this vast army of lunatics? by building a three-foot-high wall. A terrifying obstacle. About as frightening as a little rabbit with the word boo painted on its nose. Ooh! <laughs> now, Centurion, I won't have that. So this goofy. wall is a terrific defense mechanism. Why, you're surely not suggesting that a rabble of Scots could get the better of Roman soldiers. Okay, okay, us! Uh, welcome, General. Splendid. Oh, my God. <laughs> Practicing your English, Georges? Oh, the short skirts, man. Said, mihi nuntiatem est Romanum undique opugnare. Sed imperator nihil fecisse, praetum matrem vena venisse, et quumque uxorem duxisse. Oh, woe is me! <gasps> shut up, Roderick, shut up. There is one final thing to push which may be our salvation. Or not. Because it is, in fact, a lollipop. Raspberry flavoured, my lord. Oh, God. I'm going to spend the rest of my life in a small wooden room with two toilets and the stupidest man in the world. Wait, my lord, do not despair, for I have a cunning plan. Mm -hmm. Can I say I'm not optimistic, Mordred? Yes. Well done, Blackadder! Oh. But tell me, all this stuff about um, changing history with time travel, you must have had to be damn some careful. Oh, I was. Very careful. So, Blackadder, tell us, did you, did you hang out with any, you know, big-time celebs? Well, yes, actually. For example, this belonged to none other than Robin Hood. Who? <laughs> Robin Hood. Never heard of him. You'll have to do better than that, Blackadder. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, hey, killed him. So you've never heard of Robin Hood? Well, this is the title page for Macbeth, signed by Shakespeare himself. The final guest of honour arrived at the Dome. Many of the crowds have been here for up to 36 hours waiting for this moment. And I'm sure they won't be disappointed. As the great car sweeps into view. Because here, at last, is the King himself. King Edmund oh, III. No, of course. Universally loved. 98% <laughs> approval rating across Damn. the country. And here to greet them is the Prime Minister. Unmarried, of course, but now entering his fifth term of office. Damn. <laughs> the relationship between the King and his First Minister particularly close nowadays, since the dissolution of Parliament two years ago. And what a great partnership these two have become, leading Britain magnificently oh God, into a prosperous yeah, and triumphant sure new millennium. All right, man, that was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed that a whole lot. I'm surprised there's so many mixed reviews about this. I thought it was really funny. It was super wacky, dude. They travel through time, and it's Baldrick and Black Adder. They're essentially hanging out a whole episode. Why Why wouldn't that be good? I thought it was good. I liked it. It was just, it was goofy. Rick Mail showed up in it. That was great. I could have used more of him, though. I would have liked more Rick Mail. It's all good. I mean, it was just Flash Heart as Robin Hood, which I guess kind of makes sense. The personalities seem like they will mesh. I don't know. But I enjoyed it, man. I thought it was really wacky. I thought it was really fun. I thought Baldrick was really funny. I love the banter between him and Black Adder. 
better, like always. I thought it was really, really enjoyable. I thought he might be stuck there with the queen a little longer and have to come up with like contraptions to keep her entertained or something, but he really got out of there pretty fast. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I wasn't expecting a time travel thing or anything anyway, but once he showed up at the queen thing, I thought he was going to be there a little bit longer. But like I said in the video, doesn't that mean the black adder from that timeline is going to be killed? Because she said he needed to come up with more of the mints or come up with more of something because she's expecting him to come up with more stuff. You know? And he just disappears. So when the admin from that timeline shows up, she'll be like, where's my shit? And he'll be like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. But you know, he's always good at talking himself out of stuff anyway. So, eh. So I guess like, you know, no harm, no foul. He probably would have got out of it anyway. But I was thinking about that. The whole Baldrick underwear and dinosaur gag, you would think would be stupid and not funny. I said that was really funny. It was so stupid, it was funny. You know? <laughs> It is underwear one kill Black Adder. Like, he just, you know, is put off by it and wants it away from him. But it'll kill a dinosaur. I thought that was funny. It was stupid. It was stupid, but it was really funny. I don't know. I like goofy comedy, crackhead comedy. I thought that was really silly. Baldrick actually came up with a cunning plan that worked out. That was cool. Even though, you know, Black Adder swapped it and dunked his head in the toilet for his life to flash for his eyes. But it still worked out. So he was able to have his little cunning plan or whatever. It was cool. They went back in time and altered things where he's uh, king and Baldrick's the prime minister. That's cool. They were having a conversation about how you can't really make any meaningful impact unless you're like the king or prime minister or whatever. But it makes sense that he picked Baldrick to be the prime minister because he can like, you know, manipulate him really easily. And Baldrick's loyal. He's super loyal. I've said that before. So why not have somebody who you can trust who's loyal on your side who might be a ding but you can easily get him to do whatever you want him to do, you know? I love a Baldrick's in like a high status position and the dude still leaves his shirt untucked and stuff. He's just so sloppy all the time. I think it was from the last episode of the series that he did the fox line. When Baldrick said, I have a cunning plan and then Black Adder rambled off about the, like that the fox went to fox something and yada, yada, yada. I can't remember the line or whatever. But I think that was in the last episode too and they just kind of, it was like a call back to it. If I remember, I can't remember for sure, but I think so. Oh yeah, dude, I love Stephen Fry's Roman outfit. That was great. <laughs> He's gonna do his tidy whities That was super goofy. I thought that was funny as heck, dude. That was silly as heck. And I like how they were making fun of the French. That was funny too, dude. They're cold blooded. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's it, man. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Let me know what you guys think below. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.